Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Beer the Master of Puppets, again, joined by Jakob the Lord of Malts. And today we're going to be doing a little vertical on the brewery Smoking Wood series. Uh, sent to us from Ryan in Beer Trade. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, I've had both of them already, and they're really good. But it's the, uh, the brewery Smoking Wood Imper Smoked Imperial Rye Porter, aged in bourbon barrels and rye whiskey barrels. Now, the only difference really is the alcohol content. The bourbon is 10% while it's the rye, oh wait, yeah, the rye whiskey is 10% and the bourbon is 13%. Says the same info on both a rich porter layered with rye, spiciness, and earthy smoke, caramel-like flavors, roasted malt, or, or toast, roasty malt, and oaky deliciousness. And uh, yeah, this is that I've had both of these already uh, at their... Was it their anniversary tasting or something like that? I, I think I also tried them, yeah. I, um, their, uh, their stand at the Firestone Walker Festival. But both of us love the brewery, yeah. so this should be interesting. Awesome. So yeah, let's dig in. So we got the two brewery smoking wood pours. And they're pretty black. Yeah, there might be... Oh my. Yeah, I think there's maybe a little bit of a transparency in the bottom of the glass. Yeah. But funny enough, the rye version, which we have in this fancy... Oh, this uh, wine tulip had quite a more decent carbonation yeah. than the bourbon version here. But um, let's start out with that rye one. So yeah. You on that one. Okay. Ooh, lots of smoke malt. Yeah. A lot of rye. Whiskey. Whiskey. Yeah. Lots of whiskey. Wow. I get so much whiskey on this one. Chocolate. Chocolate, oak, yeah. Agreed. Smoke. A lot of Wood. Smoke. Burnt campfire notes. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of that, a little bit of alcohol. The the rye version here is the one on ten percent, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, do smell that a little bit though. Some chocolatey coffee, rich coffee notes. Definitely mm. that earthy and spicy rye, but wow, that smoke so much really whiskey. Shines, uh, yeah. The smoke really shines through. But I feel like the smoke paired with the rye uh, bourbon or rye whiskey makes it a more um not, uh, yeah, but makes it also a more woody, campfirey smoke oh, more yeah. so than meaty. It is kind of meaty, but just a lot of smoky nights. Smokes, but yeah, do you want to give this a taste? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. We'll, we'll try the other one after. Boom. <laughs> that is nice. Yeah. So, so much for uh, rye whiskey. Again. Yeah. Really rye whiskey forward. Nice smokiness. Smokiness really lingers. The yeah. smoky flavor, though, I get some of the meaty. Yeah. It's kind of smoked sausage. Bacony. What about you? What do you yeah, well, the same as chocolate, coffee, kind of, uh, the coffee lingering bitterness kind of um, you have from coffee. Yeah. <laughs> and roasted malts. Yeah, roasted malts. Earthy notes. A little amount of co to toffee kind of. Uh, yeah, caramel. Yeah. yeah, but a lot of that oaky, smoky, woody, burnt notes, campfire notes, um, really nice. Yeah. The alcohol is more well hidden in the flavor than the aroma, and you do get some heat too. Yeah, yeah actually. actually. Yeah, in the back. Yeah. Mmm. Well, that's tasty. But, um, yeah. Let's check out the aroma on the other one. Yeah. The, the bourbon version. <laughs> yeah, not as intense barrel character in this one, I think. No, but there's much more kind of chocolate and... And smoke. Yeah. <laughs> it's And I think this is more of a meaty smoke, actually, than the rye whiskey version, maybe? Yeah, it has a little bit of alcohol too, but this one is also thirteen percent, not ten. Um, that yeah, but definitely bourbony notes, chocolate, uh, oak, kind of charred oak, yeah. Yeah. burnt notes. So as you say, chocolate, coffee notes. Let me tea kind of smokes a campfire smoke too. Yeah, maybe a touch of vanilla on this one too. Actually, from the barrels, I'm getting a little bit of vanilla. Yeah. Yeah. It smells. It smells really nice too. It smells a little more balanced though. Yeah, it does, and and a little more sweet kind mm. of uh, compared to the other one. Yeah. But well, what well, mouthfeel on the the other one? I'd say is medium. Yeah. Bigger side of medium, mm. and nice and velvety, and silky. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Check out the bourbon version. Wow. Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> that is so smooth and nice and sweet too. Yeah. And the sweetness actually pairs well with the smoke. Yeah, and it kind of the smoke kind of lays in hiding until the uh, yeah, sweetness kind of uh, fades, and then the smoke smoked. I'm getting also a little bit of more of a dark fruity flavor on this, yeah. this one, like 
dates or something like that. Yeah, dates and figs and all that kind of stuff. And I really love smoked beers, and these two are <laughs> yeah. really good. It's probably the best smoked porters I've had. Besides from the Surly Smoke Lager, which is the smoked Baltic porter, that's amazing too. But nice bourbony notes, the oaky, woody, burnt notes, a little bit of that uh, dark fruit, as you said, chocolate, yeah. coffee, meaty smoke, woody. Kind yeah. of campfire smoke. Notes. The mouthfeel on this one is a little bigger than on the. Uh, I also think that's uh, because this one's a little overcarbonated. The other yeah. one, it's a little more fizzy. Yeah. This is very que creamy. Creamy. Yeah. Creamy. Creamy and full bodied. Um, yeah, definitely the bourbon version that's my favorite here. Yeah. Uh, those are two really, really nice smoke beers. If you had the chance to get them, get them for sure. I know this, is, this was the first batch and they're doing it again. Yeah. So, raising them again at the Reserve Society. Thing, I think, uh, not hundred percent sure here, but definitely check them out if you can find them. Uh, anyway, for me, the 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 I like the bourbon the most, but the rye whiskey version, I'm gonna give a ninety. It's really nice, fantastic smoked imperial porter, and the bourbon version, I'm gonna give this one a ninety three, uh, which is this one. This is the one I like the most. Really nice, and it's more sweet and more of those chocolatey sweet notes and all. So yeah, yeah. amazing beers. Again, the brewery winners for sure. <laughs> I totally agree. Um, but uh, I'm gonna give this one an 89. I'm not. It's great. Don't yeah. get me wrong at all. Um, but yeah, there's some kind of issue. This one I'm gonna give 80, 80, 93. So definitely leave us know what you think of the brewery smoking wood beers if you've had any of these two bad boys. Thanks a lot to Ryan for sending these one up, these ones out to us. Uh, we always love trying new brewery beers. So yeah, guys, we're gonna say cheers and two. Pretty good beers. Cheers to us. Yeah, and we're gonna <laughs> see you guys at another beer deal. <laughs>